After a full, grueling season of Super Rugby, we've made it here to the final showdown. The ultimate game in the Super Rugby season. It is the grand final and it is a South Island derby here in New Zealand. It is the Crusaders versus the Highlanders. We've made it to this show, to the final. And we have a chance to become back-to-back -back Super Rugby champions. But it will be no easy task against a team that defeated us back in about round 14 or 15. Then, earlier in round one, it was a 21-all draw between these two sides. Now, we are here weeks and weeks later. We've swept aside the Hurricanes, who beat us twice in the regular season, to then take on the Brumbies, who were punished last episode. Today, we take on the Crusaders. And with one change now lineup that sees the all loose head prop with a way out of the game. We've got to catch up here with the play. We'll get on those changes in a second. Oh my goodness me, but it is Stephen Kitchoff who is out. Aiden Johnston taking his place, you can see there, in the number one jumper. We've knocked on the kickoff very early in the piece and a chance for the Crusaders to attack. And Jack Goodhue does just that. Into our 22. Makaleo with the hit up. Just 15 metres out now are the Crusaders looking for a fiery start to the game. Fiery start to the night to Ryan Crotty. Whoa, he's rolling back the clock. And what a start for the home team. The Crusaders looking to claim back their crown. And what a start to do it as well. Mitch Hunt, oh, oh, oh from the sideline. Spectacular kick for the Crusaders fly half. My goodness me, we've not even touched the ball yet. We knocked it on off the kickoff and we have been shunned from the play ever since. We go deep down to Mataheli has swept us aside. And without Kitschoff in the team, there'll be no hard chaser of those kickoffs as Aaron Smith has to make a desperate tackle. Aiden Johnson's first man there is the Crusaders easily roll their way out of the 22 and now Mitch Hunt goes deep down to Ben Smith who's looking to keep on that territorial pressure Naholo leads the charge as it goes down to Harvey who smashes it back we've got two men back there our leading try scorer and Campbell Wood and it's a collapsing all advantage for the Highlanders. We've got an opportunity now, boys. Let's go. Yamani, nice little one. Simon, who bulldozes his way through. Over halfway. Still advantage with the Highlanders. Let's keep it tight, boys. We know the way through. Uh-oh, this could be lost. It is indeed. We, oh, we go for touch. I wanted to go for goal, but yeah, look where it is. There's a snowball chance in hell of us getting that one over. 55, I mean, we're not Jordy Barrett here. Kicking them from next door. We have just Joshuani, who slaps it into touch instead, just outside the 22. Right, lads. Uh oh, I've not quite nailed that. Hopefully, oh, we've overthrown it. Aaron Smith goes away with it. Couple of big lads there to secure possession. Speaking of big lads. It's him, Opo. Now we go to the back line. Kieran Wright. Oh, that was a bit fancy. Ben Smith, we had no one out there. I'm not sure where Naholo was. He's way out there by himself. Why, Saki, come on, man. Matali's kicked it away. I don't think anyone's back. It's a disaster for the Highlanders. Oh, now we get involved with Naholo. Oh, this is tragic. Who can kick here? Matt Fattis is the only guy who can kick. We're going to try to smoke it straight down that little gap. Fattis will lead the chase. They'll both get there in time. It's David Harvey running it back. Harvey passing field. That's surely knocked on. Come on, ref. We'd love a bit of the ball. We won't see it. Now we are playing scrum half. That's dangerous. Crusaders are way too good, man. They are just too good. How did we get a draw against these guys? Last time we played them in round 14 or 15 or whatever it was, it was 21-7. No other team does this stuff. The crossfield kicks. Mark Alley to ooze out there. And so is Aiden Johnston. Oh, we, we pick and go there, but we got snapped up pretty quickly. 
Let's keep it slow, boys. Here's Johnson again. A good game so far. Freyden Johnson. Our numbers are there. Coming on the wheels. We find Yuani. And Josh Yuani will go in. Oh, beautiful from the Highlanders. Yuani scores. And the game is back on. Hayden Johnson. Off the bench. Injury to Stephen Kitschoff. And look at the results. 7-7 seven, to score. Do not leave your six. This one's going all the way, I hope. Boy, I hope. Let's flick it on, boys. Oh, no, Waisaki. That wasn't great, Waisaki. Short side. Got to run. Oh, good tackle. Good tackle. Yes, Johnson's there. Aiden Johnson's been very good. It's only been seven minutes of the game, but he's been very good. What's that short pass? I like it. Chasing up. Uh oh. Oh, there's trouble, George Bridge. Oh, get out of town here, Jackie boy. That's got to be a turnover. Thanks for coming. By the way, just I don't know if you've seen the lineups at the start of the match there, but they've got Will Jordan on the bench. Who is about... Oh, my God, I've kicked this way too late. He was 97 rated. I'll just remind you all. 97, he's on the bench. That's how good this Crusaders team are. I mean, if we can even get close to them, I will be beyond shot. Stunned. And I'm getting that way right now because we've got the ball back. And we've got the big man, R.G. Steinman, trying to sidestep instead of fed. Or charge. That's brilliant. I like it when we do that. Yeah, not serious. Marina McKelly to who charges. Well, we've lost it again. Yeah, we're just too slow, those breakdowns sometimes. Isolated players. Never works well. Four hurrahs is Aaron Smith. Goes fine. We turned it over. Okay, boys. Slow it down. Slow it down. Slow it down. I want to get rid of this. I want to play in their half only. Now, if I can find... Campbell Wood, who should be out here. There he goes. Oh, this is a great kick. Oh, ho, ho. that's a monster. Good chase as well. Hold on, boys. Aiden, you're the man. Brush receivers, look out. Oh, don't buy that step. Good work, boys. Good work defensively. Very strong right now. I'll go back for the kick. Take a breath. Mid-chance. Finds touch. Oh, that's an extraordinary good kick. Right on halfway. I like it. Slow to the line out, the Crusaders. Read into that what you will. I'll say that they're tired. The half. Good line out. Smith. Yuani. Looking for Fattis. Oh, couldn't get the quick ball away. Get up, Manny. Short ball to the forwards. Wrapping round. Keep it alive, lads. Oh, we didn't quite do that well enough. Again, Ben Smith's a, ben Smith's a short guy. That was never going to work. That was a disaster play. Never try that again. Uh-oh. We're in a bit of strife here. We've got too many players... All squished up together. Slow it down, lads. Right, let's play. No forwards are nearby. We go to the back line. We go to the back line. It doesn't quite work out again. A couple of meters lost. Let's go to... Oh, Liam Squire. Getting a bit fancy there, Liam. But we go forward, though. Matera has a crack now. And he gets a charge on. I like this. Go, boys, go. Halfway over halfway, we're getting a bit of a rumble on. Keep it in the forwards. Keep it tight. Another charge. Another ball. Another recycled possession. Now we go to Josh. Gaps on the inside, Josh. Oh, oh. we saw that gap. Wanted to take it. Give it to Snyman for another run. Ball. Spotted the chance for an offload and we lose the ball. Forwards doing well. Mitch Hunt. Oh, he's a scumbag. He really is a scumbag. It's not gone out, though. Ben Smith's back there. Just had to make sure he was going to correct himself enough to drive this downfield. Drop it. Harvey does not drop the ball. And we're going to turn it over. Big play, Highlanders. Now, just look out. Snyman's playing. Oh, a first receiver. Offload would be brilliant if we could have got a fend on there from Homopo. Would have been very nice. But we're back to where we were before forwards all a bit disjointed here it's now Amua oh he is a mean machine as I saw for Amua do we keep going tight now I don't think we do we try and use the backs and that is nice because Ben Smith has just about set away the finisher that is Campbell Wood now we go out to Marino McAlley too strong run as we rumble our way into the 40 meter line Drop it short. Get it, get it. Oh, don't, no, 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 that's lost. That is so lost. Oh my god, that is lost. We got a bit. Yeah, we 
got a bit in a pickle there for our own players, which is a shame, because we were building phases, we were looking all right. But remember, it's still only 7-7. We need to turn those times of possession into, well, opportunities to score points, really. Sitting around that halfway line is not an opportunity to score points. We've turned the ball over, and now we're going to pummel it downfield. Look how Ben, it's going long, and there's no one home for the Crusaders. Remember, it was an attacking lineout, and we've done superbly well. Our lineouts is the motion. Steal another one, that's all we have. We've stolen it. Oh, but we've lost it on the bounce. A real shame. A real shame there because we were oh, 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 on to something. It's too long and fussy. Oh, look out back there, back there. Who's back there? Ben, Ben. Good boy, Ben. Draw it back, Ben. Try. Pass those guys if we can. Have we been put on side? I hope we've been put on side. Harvili's there. He does not want to kick Harvili. And we do close the gap. Oh, goodness me. Stop him doing that, please. Someone, get on side, guys. Oh, bulldozing. Tom Sanders. This is looking ominous now as we wear down to half time. This is where the Brumbies really hurt us and put the acid on at that break. Good tackle, good tackle, good tackle. And done shape. Yes, we've turned it over. Matt Fettis, Matt Fettis. Quick, Matt. Quick, quick, quick. Drill it. Matt, get it away. Oh, my God. That was so close. We've just got it through the middle of the park. They're running back in haste. Are uh, the Crusaders. And Harvili has to kick it back. We win this battle. Uh-oh. Oh, no. What have I done there? I was supposed to kick it, but we've ended up not doing that at all. But it's all right. We've got Marina McAlley too out there. We have numbers to the left. Let's get it to the not the danger man I was really expecting to see out there. But Campbellwood does support. What do we do in this situation, guys? We kick. We play sensible rugby. Now, they're protecting the sidelines very well, the Crusaders. But we find grass. That is the most important thing about this. Back to Harvey, who has no choice but to kick. He's kicked high, which is very dangerous. We've missed it at the back. We do pick it up. Somehow, very luckily. Oh, my God, guys. Get up. Get up. Get up. Should look to some forwards here. Nice. Nice hands. Beautiful hands. Aaron Smith. Nice work. Here's Snyman. He is all alone a bit here. But he's got Al Muller, I think, who's lost it in there. Too slow the breakdown. Try to keep that one alive. Ryan Crotty goes high. Ben's waiting. Ben has been absolutely destroyed. Oh, Ben. That's your mistake in the game, Benny Boy. It's half time, surely. Half time. Oh, that is a mistake. You can make it. I'm sorry, but that was timely. Very timely by the Highlanders to make that error. 7 7 at the break. Honestly, I don't know where this is going to go. We've got possession, they've got territory. They missed a lot of tackles. We're playing well enough to win this game. But that's not always well enough to actually win the game. You can play well, but you can still come out. Oh, no, I want to kick it up, guys. You can play well, but still come out on the wrong side of these results. Let's see what we can do. Second 40 minutes of the Super Rugby Final. Crusaders, Highlanders, 7-7, seven, seven, 40 minutes to play. Let's go. Yuani kicks off. Oh, it's been dropped. It's here for one. Campbell won. Oh, he's so close. Oh, we've lost it. Unbelievable, Matt Fettis, get up. Oh, that was so close to being clutch. Absolutely clutch. And now let's go. Ryan Crotty, the heartbreaker of so many games. Kill him. Someone, please. We've turned it over. Let's go, lads. Let's go. The backs are doing the job. Here is Campbell Woods. Lomax. Have we lost that? How? How? We established the ball at the back. That's I'm smashing him. Oh, that was satisfying. Get across, boys. Get across. Come on. Man, Campbellwood could have been the hero of the final. Imagine if he had done that. That was an upset waiting to happen. This could be a turnover wait to happen. It is. Come on, boys. Come on. Settle, settle. Settle, charge. Yes. Charge, 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 rumble, rumble, offload, nicely, Aiden Johnson, numbered, oh, where's the players? It's all right, the day up. Kieran Wrights, 
and set a forward pass. Are you joking me? Are you joking me? We were in! I think Matera was in! Matera! He was in! No, that was not a forward pass! Those bloody Crusaders tampering with the referees. And here goes Brynhall. Of course he does. The scummy little number nine. What have we left out? Uh-oh. Harvey killing people off there. Smashing his way up the line. Short side, boys. Short side. They've got numbers. They are dangerous. Peter Johnson has been a phenomenon in that number one jumper. I tell you what, he's been extraordinary. Who needs Stephen Kitschoff? Watch that running guy. He's going to bulldoze one man. Don't let him offload. Don't let him offload. Yes, good tackle. Bryn Hall, what are we looking at time here, lads? We're looking at 17 minutes. We're just over half time. Got to think about substitutes. I've got to think about impact off the bench. They've gone deep, which is actually, well, it's paid off for them because they're running out wide. Harvili is so close. Doing it all himself there. David Harvili. Uh oh. I'm scared of these running guys. Both going short side. Oh, dearie me. They've done something special there, and they're over. Scott Barrett manipulating the short side and the Crusaders get back in the lead this has been a battle but a battle that ultimately we have left points out on the field with that is away we are going to make our substitutes now I like making this one Vakatava brings that spark and I like Mackay on for Matt Fattis I've made it all season long um, normally I bring Aiden Johnson on but today we've only got Yusuf and Scott Fazal can make an impact. Has Squire done enough? Has Makali too done enough? Maybe Fazal to number eight. What do we reckon about Ruck work? What am I looking for? I don't even know anymore. Ruck, 95. Fazal is only 86. Matera obviously 99. 95 for Squire. We've got our best rucking guys on there, but breaking tackle wise, where do I see that? Uh, Fiending breaking tackle, 86. Wow. Really, Makali too is way better than Squire. Even Frizzell just doesn't find a way into this game, does he? He really does not find a way into that back row. I may just leave things as they are. Those two backline changes, it's about all we're going to do. I don't want to lessen this team. I think we're playing well enough. The front row is doing well. Um, but the, the conversion, most importantly, has been missed by Mitch Hunt, which leaves the door slightly ajar for Joshua Arne. And our boys, that is a great tackle, but no, Aiden Johnson not there like Stephen Kitschoff has been during the season. Oh, damn. Mitch Hunt got that kick away, and oh, dear, that's not going to find time. That is an expertly placed kick from Mitch Hunt. That is a game changer. Right there, a real game changer. Ten to play. You see if we can get another line out turnover. Oh, it's out the back, and it's over the top, and it's picked up from Brent Hall, and he scoots through. We both went for it. We turned it over. Thank God for that. Do we have to play? I feel like we have to play here. We get it out the back. Waisaki, he's in space. Naholo, rumbling through, rumbling away. Got a bit congested. Two defenders on him. He had to do something there. Let's see what Ben can do. Not much in that chance. Forwards, not there where we wanted them. Nice ball, actually. Out it goes. And we're, we're finding space, but the Crusaders' defense just really does shift and cover. Oh, oh, Yuani, he spots a hole. Out wide to Isaki. We've still got Kieran Wright. Oh, inside we go to Kieran Wright, looking for that offload. We do not find it, but we find the ball. Back here again, Naholo, as he does, tries to step his way. Oh, there was a forward there, I should have used him. We go deep. They shift well. The Crusaders, we knock it on. And now here they come. We turn it over, which is really good on Bryn Hall. But it will go back for the scrum. Eight and a half to play. We'll be eight minutes by the time the scrum sets. This one's not done, team. Win or lose, this is the final. Oh, don't run it off the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good. Shut that down. Shut that down. Turn it over. Yes, we've turned it over. Right. We're not going short side. Josh. Ben Smith's up at the line, and Ben Smith breaks the line. Ben Smith through, fending his way. Such a clutch player. Fakatava, out wide. An opportunity for Kieran Wright to be the hero of the Highlanders. And Wright, he scores. 
Woo! We're in the lead! No, we're not! <laughs> We've got to get this kick! Josh Ioane to give us the lead with four to play! Ioane! Ioane! Ioane scores! 14-12! Game on! Oh, no! Oh, no! We were away again! Loose play! Broken play! We're so damn good! Don't let them bust. Oh, they didn't do the number eight play. Just being, we've been so good recently. We cover nicely. We do well. Outside the 22. Are they going to go open side? I feel they are. And they're going to go deep. They're going to go to the backs. Johnson was outpaced there. We cover across nicely with Guani. Oh, so fussy. Did very well to spot that hole. Still more ball with the Crusaders. Ben Smith, you stay right back. Oh, I'm nervous. Oh, I'm nervous. This game can change in a split second, and it has already, and they're through the Crusaders. They'll take the lead back. Mitch Hunt has been extraordinary. We know how much of a tap he is. He can be so hot and so cold. Today, he's been hot, and he may be the recipe to success for the Crusaders tonight. Wow, that one. Oh, that was a little bit too easy for them, wasn't it? Soft knock on off the kickoff. That spoiled our chance. I like to go deep. I like to go deep. And oh, what am I? Oh, what's happened here? It's been picked up at the back. We put him in touch. Right, a minute to play. Let's go, lads. Let's go. Oh, the final is on the line. Five points to lead. Up we go. Fakatava. Yuani. Split hole. Split hole for Mackay. And Karen rides. <laughs> Kieran Wright scores to the right and the upright. Kieran Wright may have just won the final. A chance, Yuani, to be the hero. Josh, hit it, my son. Oh, the Highlanders have done it. We're defeated. The Crusaders, and that is the Super Rugby title. Back to back, 23. Should have been 21. Why didn't they? Did, did he miss that kick at the end? Oh my god, I don't even know. Maybe we didn't need the conversion. But all that matters is Kieran Wright has done it. The youth player intake through the heart of the Highlanders. He's been our key player and we are champions yet again. Wow. What a game. I thought the Crusaders had nicked it. At the end, they tried to Mitch Hunt. It's always going to be Mitch Hunt. He's a, he's a Highlander nowadays. He just about broke our hearts. Ryan Crotty was superb. Breakouts from inside his own 22. He was glorious tonight. So was Hunt. Our kicking game was pretty strong. Harvili, he was strong at times as well. Good breaks, good runs. But man, oh man, oh man. Our forwards in their first half. Probably didn't use them as much as we should have in the second. But that try. Oh, Josh Ioane's try. There was all the big boys as well. And that's what the forwards can do. And that is why I try to use them more. I just go to the backs. I get scared. I go to the backs. Team, we've won the final. We have won the final. Oh, by the skin of our teeth. I tell you what. Do we do Look at this mall, though. Not that one. That was probably one of the first ones. What a game. What an outstanding game. Let's move on, shall we? Let's let's just move on. Let's have a look at some stats. Oh, well. Oh, of course. Well, the, the scoreboard has been up. It said 23-19, didn't it? But, of course, it was only 21. What has happened there? We did need that kick. Okay, this is the proper scoreboard. Goodness me, they messed that up completely. How did we get a free two points? I don't know, and I don't care. All I care about is that we won. We won the game. Scott Barrett, Mitch Hunt, Ryan Crotty with the try. Scott Barrett's try was actually a very good forwards try as well. Josh Yuani sparked from the forwards, offloading in the tackle. Yuani going all the way here and right though. Boy, he's clutch. He is clutch at the end of a game and he is the hero of the Highlanders. Josh Yuani though, tried three conversions. There's a reason he is the leading point scorer. And of course, for the whole competition now, it is over. He is the man. Don't care how the Crusaders played. Who was our standout man? Wow. Josh Yuani was, wow. Outdone by one point by Kieran Wright. The back row, this is why I didn't make subs. Uh, Squire, Patera, and Makali too. Goodness, I'll get there. We're a very, very strong front row as well. 
Uh, especially Almua and Johnson, I thought, had an outstanding game. Missed one tackle. Aaron Smith with a couple as well. So did Campbell Wood. Not his best night uh, for our big try scorer. Waisaki was strong in 11. Probably doesn't do him justice, but he was... Well, he almost did the unthinkable. But um, that is extraordinary. We've done it. We've won. Let's go celebrate with the boys. Well, I'll tell you what, Tom, to be honest, I come into this game, I was thinking if we can pick up a point in terms of recruitment uh, and skill, get those to 50. I thought that would be good. I didn't expect to be able to beat the Crusaders. We drew with them earlier, and that was a good result. We got smashed by them in the second meeting. I mean, we lost to the Hurricanes twice and then beat them in the quarterfinal. We really do come up trumps when it's clutch, don't we? It's unbelievable at the end just how good we can be when things click. But the Crusaders, on another day, any other day, should have beaten us there. But we've done the objective. 51 points for skill and recruitment, 38 for attribute as well. So that is all... Well, it's all rosy. But I tell you what, all games being played. Yep, yeah, uh, we're still losing Kitschoff for another couple of games. He might heal over the offseason. I'm not too sure, but take a look at this. Take a look at this. Hi, coach. From the anonymous email sender. Congratulations. You and your men have done the fans proud. We are champions. He says, let's the party begin. And you know when it's a Highlanders, a Targo, Dunedin, you know... It's going to be a party at Tony Brown's place, that is for sure. Our top performers in the match were Kieran Wright, no question, Joshuani, uh huh. And Liam Squire picks up a bit of a mention at the end as well. Okie dokie. Next episode, it is time to use these suckers up in the top left hand corner. The recruitment points, the attributes points, and the skill points. Have a look at our team. Before we wrap up today's episode, I might actually move forward to see what our youth intake looks like as well for you guys to have a say in. Our team, <coughs> looking at that front row, my voice, well, I got a little bit excited there at the end, didn't it? Kitchell injured, he'll be back though, don't worry about that. He's 85, um, and our three best props, 86, 85, 83. Okay, that's all right. Uh, you see the Scott's 83, so four good props. Tokalahi's a bit out of the money now, 29 and Daniel Leonard Brown, 28. We should probably let them go. Uh, Almuo will probably pop up to a 90. Coltman and Ray Nui. I mean, Nui is 30. So, really, Ricky Jackson's probably the man. Well, well no, he's not really a man of the future at all, is he? Um, but still, two good hookers. We should be right. Coltman, desperation, back up off the bench. Second row, yeah, we've stringed that up. RG Snyman, 86. And Jackson and Mopo's 82. We've got Josh Dixon and Putty Putty Parkinson. Both on the 80s. Tom Franklin, yep, hopefully he'll retire soon. Pablo Matera is our key man in the back row, but we drop off quite considerably um, with Liam Squire, just an 85 at 30 years of age. and Probably not worth investing in. Neither is Matera, um, but good enough at the moment to start. We'll be bench players if we can find something special in the youths. Number eight, though, we do have something special in the youth. 24-year-old Marino McAuley, 2, 82 rated. We'll definitely pump him up over the off-season in the halves, this is where we'll probably see a changing in the guard. 32-year-old Aaron Smith will probably make way now, as he has in real life as well, going in through the season. Um, 2021 Super Rugby Aotearoa season. Flau Fakatawa is the man. 85 now, very close. We'll pop him up, and he will be our new starting with Aaron Smith, proving that experience and impact off the bench for however many seasons he sees fit before retirement. And then Kane Hemmington, well, he's 30 already, so we'll just leave him there for a desperation time. The other side of the halves, we've got Joshua, 91, he's key, 26, he's the guy. And these two guys will just warm the pine. They probably won't even, actually, they won't even make the bench. Kieran Wright, 19, 95, he's, he's amazing, as is Campbell Wood, 94. Ben Smith, I, I don't think he's ever going to retire, but uh, he is seeing his days near the end. And through the midfield, Kieran Wright's great. Matt Fattis certainly was below standard this season. I do like bringing the impact of Josh McKay, 23-year-old, 84 through the team and I feel like he might be a future even though he's a winger we might you know manipulate him into being a midfield mould him into something different we lack the depth throughout this back line so maybe that's something we will work on and who knows how long Benny Boy's going to last as well but we'll see to be Lee still good Waisaki's still good but again 30 uh, we've got a lot of 30 year olds Rob Thompson's still there Matt Fattis is 29 now as well Thomas Zimgan Jensen another guy who could you know only two points behind Matt Fattis future could be his in that 12 jumper as well 
Let's look at the team. Let's move on. Oh, take this all in, would you? League champions. I love it. Next season, let's go. We're for Highlanders. Let's see what youth players we can get. Look at this. Joshua, 158 points. Here, the storming grand final. Uh, Jacqueline Diaz Bonisha at 96. Campbell with 95. One try, and he would have been the second highest point scorer. Freakish talent. Especially against all these goal kickers in here. Machan, Bowden Barrett, Vanui Haurada, uh, and Bonisha there as well, all kicking goals. So we are going through the retirements. Oh dear, that's a bit of a concern, isn't it? Who's going to retire? Uh, we will cover this next episode as well. So for you scumbags out there that don't watch right to the end, well, this is your fault. Uh, not that you're going to see this, but um, you could have had all this information earlier and actually had your say. What a shame. What a shame. Good on you, anyone who's sticking around till the very end to see what we have in offer for the youths and of course retirements and changes injuries I, I expect that we will get um mr south africa the ginger assassin of stephen kitschoff back but take a look at this oh, i don't believe that game it was amazing we are initializing the season and statistics at the same time we are double tasking double tasking that's your name also look at how shit the blues are Look at that, 13 losses from 16 games. What a pile of garbage those boys are. And how this will change. Players will retire. Recruitment will come through. Who will recruit well? Who will recruit poorly? As long as Auckland stay at the bottom, I don't really mind. We're in a new season, boys. We're in a new season. Let's check out the inbox. Oh, my God. League champions. What's this? We got two of them. That's how amazing it was. Back-to-back -back champions, you know? Okay. Two retirements. Now, put your money on this. Ben Smith and I think Ash Dixon retired, didn't he, this season? Or is he already gone? No, he's already retired. Ah, uh, who's it going to be? Okay, let's do it. Oh, Richard Buckman. Wasn't he only like 30? Okay, so <laughs> Richard Buckman, not now plans, but he's going to retire. He still feels like he's a big con contribution to make to this team this season. Um, you're right, mate. You're not going to play a single minute. And the second one, Ben Smith. It's got to be, it is Ben Smith, yeah. So Ben Smith's decided he's going to call it a day. 36 years old. But I think we've got a ready-made replacement in Campbell Wood, which means we need a ready-made replacement on the wing. We've got a lot of doing this season to be done. Your thoughts, everyone. Comment section. We've got to replace Ben Smith. Buckman does not matter. We've got to replace Ben Smith. We'll have a look quickly at uh, what we've got youth-wise. Right. <clears throat> All players are going to be free and ready to go. It's an exciting time of year again. Full of new, new hope for a new season. Looking forward to seeing how we direct the team this year. We are back-to-back -back champions. Get out of my face. Bored. I want to have a look. Right, now obviously Ben Smith retiring this season. 89 rated. They should probably drop after 30, I think. So guys, you know, like Buckman, he's 33 actually. Fair enough. Should start dropping down. But what I want to know youth-wise, who have we got? Okay. Look at this, Sam Murray, 18, fullback, 86 overall rated. We are going to get him, him, definitely him. La Lena Kahui, 82 rated scrum half. Nah, not too sure on that one. Why do we get good fullbacks? Caleb Guilford, that's like a mix of Caleb Clark and Zach Guilford. I'm not, I'm not a fan, uh, to be honest with you. Forwards, I mean, forwards generally don't rate as highly, do they? I mean, I'm looking at a 78 rated flanker. An 82 rated scrum half. 81 rated fly half. I mean, Joshua, and he's pretty young. Probably don't need him unless he's exceptional. I am looking at this guy, George Ammon. 77 rated prop. We can train him up over the years. Because what are our props now? Oh, see, I don't even know my own team at the moment. Our front row consists of guys not in the 90s. 86, 83, 85. Okay. And the back row. Back row, definitely. I'm looking at these here. Lynch's. Lynch's are still on the bench. And he only rates 81. So in that regard, this back row I hear that's 78. He's definitely in. So we've got to pick up Kevin Rowe. Kevin Rowe's a guy we will jump on. And I think definitely Sam Murray. I'm, I'm talking Ben Smith, Campbell Wood. Who plays on the wing? Who plays a fullback between Murray and Wood next season? Uh, that's going to be the question mark. How good's like his handling and stuff? Handling 79, kicking 71. Okay, work to be done. He's quick. He's aware. That's good. We like what we like to see. Space attack, very nice as well. Defensively strong. Good, 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 good. We will compare. But 
This is where you guys come in. Who do we want to pick up? Do we want to pick up another scrum half and get rid of like a Hammington sort of player? Uh, a Kevin Mifsud, just because he's got a cool name. Owen Flynn, marginal really. If he, well, actually, to be honest, what is what is um, Matt Fattis? 85. So Matt Fattis is starting at an 85, and yet this guy here is an 81. Or do we go with like an Umanga Jensen, train them up? Or do we go with someone at another club? Let me know your thoughts. Who do we pick up? I'll do a little bit of scouting around, see if there's some other youth players that other people have picked up in previous seasons that we could nab. Before now, this is what we've got youth-wise. We'll definitely grab Sam Murray. We will, I think, grab a guy like George Ammon as well for that front row because we're a bit lacking. And Kevin Rowe. So three youth guys. And we're looking at a possible of 7, 11, and 16 recruitment points out of that, which will leave us good 35 or so to spend on someone else. So let me know your thoughts. Where do we need to strengthen the team? Who do you think we should pick up? And who should we train as well? Next episode, that is what will be coming your way. And then after that, we dig straight in to the game number one. It is the Highlanders versus the Chiefs. How will these two sides go? Let's see. Next episode, signings, then matches. It is all to be won yet again. Until next time, mate, thanks for tuning in. And, of course, thank you everyone who stuck to the end and had your say on who you think we should sign and train this season. And I'll see you all next episode where we spend the money and strengthen the Highlanders yet again. Until then, though, take care.